All right, guys, so I'm just showing you some footage through the lens of the DPVR E4 just to show you what it looks like in hubris underwater. Now, if you're gonna hear some buzzing, it's completely normal. It will actually be my controllers. You can go inside the settings. So let me just get the settings. These are the controllers. You can go in the settings and you can actually, wait, let me get the settings correctly. There we go. And you can go to options. And then you can go to performance, I think it is, or gameplay. Let me go to gameplay first. There we go. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And then, okay, main hand. All right. Uh, let's go back. Oh, haptic sensitivity. There we go. So basically, you can bring it all the way down. I'm just going to bring it like really fairly down. And then just hold the joystick again. There we go. We're back inside. Although I can still hear them, to be honest with you, I can still... All right, let me go back into the settings once more. Go to options and then gameplay. There we go. And then go back to sensitivity, haptic. Turn it off completely and hopefully uh, this time it will, you know, save. All right, there we go. So we're back inside. Now, I'd like to mention that, uh, oh, they're not vibrating anymore, so it does work. Just want to mention that inside of Hubris, the controllers work absolutely fine. The bindings are all good. Now watch until the end of this video as I will be taking off my phone from the lens to prove to you that this is indeed a through the lens video. And I will show you different aspects of the actual uh, environment in Hubris. So right now, I just want to show you under the water, which looks pretty, pretty cool. Of course, I've killed all the monsters already. So, you know, I can explain clearly what to do. But yeah, I mean, look at these graphics, guys. They're pretty cool. Now, because of the position of the phone on the lens, I have to be very clear that it seems like there is some kind of blurry on the sides. So I want to make it very clear that there isn't any blurriness on the sides. Just very, very slightly when you actually put your eyes inside of the, or well, close to the lenses. The camera lens is about, I would say, 0.5 mm to the actual Fresno lenses. And I have to say that considering they're not using Pancake, they have done an extremely amazing job. Let me just go 2x. There we go. So we're inside here. Let me just see if I can... All right, so it doesn't seem to be able to focus properly, but when you 2x, normally it will do that anyway because your eyes will not be zooming in anyway. So normally you will see it around this much. I would say it's around there, around there. So let me just see if I can actually uh, play around. You can see my hands here, my blaster. So the textures are pretty, pretty good. I mean, look at these reflections of the light bouncing off the actual materials here. I mean, I have to say that Hubris is in my top three list of games to actually try in VR because it really is simply beautiful, really, really simple, uh, beautiful, sorry. Let me just blast so you can see the effects. There we go. So here are some effects with the blaster and you can hear it. Maybe I'm not quite sure if the sound is on or whether, you know, it will come across. And oh, any again, any lines, any black things that appear like, for example, when I do this, you can see it changes color. Now, this is purely because of the actual uh, phone. It has nothing to do with the game. Inside of the game, you don't get all these lines and all this kind of stuff. It's all pretty, pretty sharp, I have to admit. So let's blast another one. There we go. And let me see if I can actually swim a little bit. So there we go. I'm swimming. So I'm actually physically moving my hands. And let, let's go to the surface and see what's up there. There we go. Look at that. Let me turn around with the button. Oh, is someone trying to kill me? Yes, there is. Where is he? He's here. Oh, 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 no, don't kill me as I'm, I don't have my headset on, so it's quite hard to, to be able to aim. All right, at least I got him, so that's good. Oh, he got me too, though, so. At least you got it on camera, which is, oh no, I'm dead. All right, so let me, Okay, now we're back outside where, uh, where I was earlier. So someone was definitely trying to uh, get me. So this is another environment, as you can see, outside here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then I'll see you in another section of the game. All right, so now we're inside of the actual ship, as you can see. And in front of us is actually the universe. So this is pretty cool. Let me just walk out. I believe I can walk out. 
I believe it's this way. And there's actually going to be some animation playing. So I'm not quite sure whether you'll hear it on the sound or not. All right, so let me, there we go. Here's the ship. I'm trying to navigate as much as I possibly can. And there's a message that's going to come up on the screen. Look at this. I mean, look at this guy here. Another one cryogenetically frozen inside. You can see all the textures, all the effects here on the actual glass, which look pretty cool. So the glass is kind of frosted or it's got dust on it or something. But although it's probably most probably cold inside, which is why you can see these textures, but they're absolutely amazing. The detail in this game is really, really cool. I have to admit all the interior stuff with all the various different lighting is done really, really well. I mean, look at this fog, look at this smoke here. Looks really, really amazing. And here's the holographic effect. Look at this guy. So there's a mission to attend to and everything closes, we're inside, everything goes red, the light goes crazy, things start to shake, the controllers start to shake, the game starts to take shape. It's absolutely amazing guys, I have to tell you that the experience inside of Hubris is quite, I have to say, very, very unique as you can tell, something is going on inside of here. So guys, we're back inside of the water. Make sure to smash those likes to let me know that this is indeed a video type that you want me to do with more through the lens footage inside of games. Do you find these informational? Do you find these useful to be able to see the graphics from through the lens instead of on the screen of the computer? If you do, smash the like so more people will get to see the video and YouTube will of course promote this video through the algorithm and to let me know to communicate with me that these are the actual kind of videos that you guys want to see and make sure to smash the notification bell after you subscribe as well as we'll be doing plenty of live streams with the DPVRE4, the HP Reverb G2 and the Pico 4 and future headsets of course and we also do live AMAs with a whole bunch of different people very recently with the CEO and founder of Somnium Space and Cybershoes and then we're going to be doing another AMA with the lead developer and founder of Walkabout Minigolf, as well as we're trying to get Nacy, Steve Nose, and Between Realities, and plenty of other developers from Ghost and Tabber and other games like Citadel Undead onto the channel as well. So do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you're notified of all these amazing, amazing live streams, everybody. All right, guys, so we're back outside after the crash of the ship. All right, let's go. I just wanted to show you the graphics when you go outside. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty incredible. Trying to move my arms, of course, because that's the only way to do it. And uh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh. All right, so we have to put something somewhere to reactivate something. I don't want to give too much away, of course, although you may have watched other YouTubers' videos, of course. Now, uh, the other thing is if you look up on the screen, it looks very blurry, but as I mentioned before, it doesn't look like this in the lens. It's simply because of the position of the camera of my phone towards the lens itself. So, you know, no fault of the headset whatsoever. I also said that there were some issues with the DPVR E4 and Hubris, it seems I was able to actually fix these issues. I'm not quite sure how they got fixed, but it seems that there was an issue with my actual graphics card and the computer as it wasn't able to read some VGA something or other. And I think it occurred after I had plugged in the HP Reverb G2 and messed around, you know, going into OpenXR with the HP Reverb G2. But so far after playing for about two hours on Hubris, I haven't actually had any issues using the DPVR E4. The VR Realm also hasn't had any issues 
using his DPVR E4. And do go and check out his channel at twitch.tv slash the VR Realm. And go and check out the live stream we did with him on the channel in the live tab on the main channel as well. Now the graphics are absolutely, absolutely excuse me, superb. Look at this water. I mean, it's just freaking amazing when you go up and you go down. The difference on night and day. It really does feel like you are inside of water. I mean, I haven't seen this kind of water clarity in any other game that, you know, makes you need to actually swim and stuff. It's just really beautiful. I love the sound effects. I love everything about this game, to be honest. Just at 5% of the time, the graphics, you know, there are some issues with the graphics or um, there are some monsters there. I better not go there. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you look at the rocks, for example, let me go maybe here over there. So you can see if I can point. Okay, you can see over here, basically, that's where the graphics start to, you know, go a little bit on the Steam version, PSVR and Meta, I'm not quite sure, haven't tested it, but basically the graphics over there start to get blurry a little bit. The actual materials are not clear. So that's the only issue here, I would say. But other than that, 90% of the game, I mean, look at these textures of the, of the actual ship. They're absolutely fantastic. And also the water, everything else is absolutely great. Of course, it would be good if the game had better AI and a little bit more interesting story. But, you know, it's a really good recommended, uh, you know, recommended game for sure. All right, let me just now take off the phone to show you that this was indeed a through the lens video as I promised. There you go. Let me zoom out. There we go. As you can see, it was indeed through the lens completely through the lens and here's the actual computer here. So if I move the headset around, you can see that that was purely through the lens stuff, guys. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hope you liked it. Smash the likes and let me know these are the videos you indeed want me to do continuously for you. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about this kind of genre in VR. Do you think Hubris 2 should be something that they start developing? Have you played it? What did you think about it? Do you have some tips and tricks of Hubris? And do you want me to do some live streams as well? Leave a comment below. All right, guys, I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.